Hello, adventurers! I'm Gray, and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. I think progress is going to start slowing a little bit this episode, because as we've gone over the quests last time, the quests are pretty long-term now. There are things that require me to spend a lot of resources to do over a long period of time, and several of them require a ton of money and effort to get done. I've been looking up how to make money a bit quicker, and I'm going to talk about that in a moment. I don't think I have any comments to read at the, at the moment as well. Perhaps I should start working on bodies and trying to get a quality graveyard. But really what I want to do is start saving up, start making some big bucks and spending them on things that I want to spend them on. I've read online on Reddit that some good ways to make money, or at least the best way to make money, is just the usual things you do each week, which is A, doing the prayers for donations. And I should, in my opinion, get either a prayer for donation or even better, this one, the combo prayer. In fact, I should have been focusing more on this than making a higher tier prayer of faith, just because this does basically the same thing as a prayer of faith and the prayer for donations combined, and it's overall much better. So I should have really been focusing on this one. Regardless though, that's something to work on for the future. Also, I could work on upgrading my church a little bit so I don't have to worry about getting a candle every time and spending money on that. Honestly, if I, if I just unlock soft church benches and just put one of those in, that should be enough to get it to about a quality of 40, which is fine. They say, let me see what else. Making gold wine is also a good way of making money. However, like any other crop or thing you sell, it'll be worth less the more that you sell to NPCs. It's good to try different NPCs to focus on when you sell them though, because each, each one of them can help you a little bit. I've read that mining up coal and selling it as a graphite, smelting it into graphite and selling that can give you a lot of money because for some reason graphite's not affected by su supply and demand principles. I don't know if that's accurate, this is about a year old, but that's what this guy says. Also, selling crop crates in the merchant is pretty decent, but it's annoying to do every week and I can't do that right now anyway because I need to get the thing, the trade deal thing from the church mailbox. Okay, what else is there? Upgrading a graveyard is the best way to make money as well. Okay, so basically the stuff that I would normally do. Prayers and working on the graveyard. And that might be what I end up doing for the next while. So let's see. What would it take for us to make a combo prayer? A really good quality combo. Because it's getting a little bit close to the day. The day that we need to do prayers. The prayer day. Also, I feel I should mention. At the end of last episode, I was really dumb. And I actually ended up... Wait, did I actually make the higher quality prayer yet i didn't make i didn't make it yet maybe hmm <clears throat> i can't remember exactly what happened okay i full disclosure at the end of the last episode of graveyard keeper i quit out of the game without saving i completely forgot to save and immediately i i was like Ugh, dang it i didn't lose the whole progress for the episode because i did save part way through the episode but i lost some progress but because of that i was able to do things a bit more efficiently and also, I didn't actually finish something, so I can make a this this prayer right here, combo prayer. 80% chance of getting a really good quality one. The problem is, I need to have a really good quality book. Whereas, prayer for faith requires just chapter. This requires a book. And it also requires more faith than I currently have. So I could make the higher tier prayer for faith right now. Or I can turn this chapter into something better. So let's see. So to make a high quality book... I'm gonna need, okay, it's gonna be a bit of a chance thing. I need to make a hardcover at the church workbench. All right, let's see what it takes to make a hardcover of a high quality. Hardcover requires a lower quality and gold jewelry details. This will be a long-term goal for us to work on right now, I think. Okay, so to, to, to make gold jewelry details, I think that's a tech thing I need to do. Is it in building? Is it in smithing? Might be in smithing. Yeah, it's up here. Gold jewelry details. It's pretty expensive to unlock. However, if I just get some more blue points, I can do it. So let's do this. Alright. So now we've unlocked silver and gold ingots. We can do all that stuff. Have we even unlocked, like, diamonds yet? We have not. Or any sort of gems. Hopefully I can make just plain gold jewelry details using plain gold. And not, it doesn't require any gems for it. Because I'm pretty sure jewelry require gems. 
Okay, I need some blue points now. So let's see what we can research for blue points. I know we're going to be spending some faith to do this. But for now, I don't think it's too big a deal. I really don't. Also, I don't want to spend this chapter to make myself the prayer for faith, the better one right now. Because I don't have any more gold level stories to use in that stuff. Okay, one way I can actually get some blue points fairly quickly is... I believe I can probably just spend some of my stories, some of my old ones in here and use those to make chapters and things like that because now that I have the skills to make them the best quality I can, they're basically guaranteed to be as decent as they can be. So I might as well use them to craft at this point and they'll give some blue points for each one I craft. So let's see, what resources did that require? That requires lots of pen and ink, all right, and lots of paper. Fortunately, we have a lot of paper, but we don't really have the pen ink, and I don't quite remember how to craft it. We do have some, but probably not enough for what we're going to do. We only need like 50 blue points right now, though, so let's see. I think we had our ink not stored in these chests, but this one over here, maybe? Uh, is it upstairs? Might be upstairs. Also, we have some chapters here. Maybe I should use these. Okay, I found a little bit of the pen and ink. It probably won't last too long, but let's try it out, see how many times we can craft out of it. And we'll probably use the silvers, just because we can. Yeah. Let's go. How much does this give? It gives... One note. I didn't really... I wasn't even paying attention to the blue points. Let's see. So we're at 26. And now we'll be at... 29? Okay, it gives us three. Which is a fine amount, I think. If we got three silvers, we could probably use those to make a silver quality chapter as well. Boop, boop. Yep. Might as well, while we're at it. Okay, and how much does that give? 32 to 37, 5. Okay. How much, how much ink did I just use there? Okay, so it can make probably two sets of... Two sets of this stuff. Let's do another one, because we can. Boop, boop. I wish I could set it to craft more than one at a time. There we go. And this should be just enough. Once we craft the chapter out of this, to unlock the gold details. Boop, boop, boop. Alright. Oh, okay. Gotta eat some bread to bring myself the energy. Okay, and now, we can go over here. Unlock this stuff. Alright, let's see what it takes to craft this stuff. We need a jewelry table. Not sure where a jewelry table is made. Probably, my guess is outside in the field. Because it's not here. If it's not here, it's going to be outside. Yes sirree! It's pretty expensive though. Two jointings, four steel parts, and two lens. Christ. Okay. And we also got some blue points here from all this stuff's mounting. And we're going to get a lot over time from all this stuff going on. At least like a hundred or so. Because I think... That, that didn't give six. It gives like two for each of them. Oh no, it only did give six. So we'll get about 82 out of this, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, I was hoping for a bit more than just one per, but it's fine. It just takes a while. Let's see. So where do we craft the lens and other things like that? Oh, here. We need some polishing paste. I thought we had some, but we can always make more. Alright, I got some hemp seeds. We're going to press it into some oil here. To seed oil. And then we'll turn that into our usable oil. I am such an engineer. Look at me go. Okay. Um, where's this seed oil? And then we use it. And we get should get like 10 normal oil. Yep. We also need way more skulls if we're going to work on the... Oh, I have all of them on me. Six. We need way more if we're going to finish up the... S s insane asylum place. The horrible blood-filled skull-filled room. <laughs> for Snake. He's a man of strange tastes. Look, I, I know we need it for a ritual, okay? I'm just, I'm just messing with Snake. He's an easy guy to make fun of, okay? <laughs> Clearly, there's no consequences if you make fun of him and right in front of him. He's such a chill guy. Okay, polishing paste. There we go. I might need sleep in a moment. In real life as well. I'm kind of tired. Okay, and lens. All right, we never crafted any of these before because they cost fave to make. But they do give us some blue points, so hey. It's something. Okay. So what else did we need along with the lens? We needed some beams, right? Or we needed some jointings and steel parts. Okay. 
No, like I said, it's going to be a little bit slow going for the time being. Partially because I don't have too much time to record, and so there's not too many cuts right now. And partially because there's just not too much in terms of story going on. And if I was cutting out everything right now, then it would take so many hours to like, record before anything really exciting gets done. But hopefully it's fine. I can just talk about random stuff, you know, have a good time doing all that stuff. It's fun. I like it. Where the heck? Oh, jointing's made here. Okay, we need a two, I think. So we need some complex iron parts. Let's do it. And then after that, we needed some... Let's see. Some of those steel gears, I think. Two of these. It's probably going to cost a lot of energy to make. Eh, not too much. I'm using up a lot of my bread in my inventory. Fortunately, we have tons. Okay, where do we make the steel gears or whatever they're called? If it's not in the anvil too, where was it? Okay, apparently it's in the furnace, and as you can tell, we won't be using our furnace for a little while. I want to make another furnace, I think. That way we don't have to worry about this one always being out. But we're going to need a lot of stone. Okay, what was it exactly again? A lot of stone, complex iron parts, and pigskin paper. Stone, complex iron parts, pigskin paper. Okay, I can do that. I don't think I'll have the new prayer done by the end of the day. So I think I'm going to do one more church thing. Actually... Can I, do I have enough to unlock a better church bench right now? No, I need a couple more blue points. Hmm. Maybe incense would be good enough. An incense burner and some incense. But I have to make my incense each time. Whereas if I make a better church bench, that'll just be a permanent improvement. Also, he's not here right now, so I can't do a prayer at the moment. He's about here. Okay. Let's see if we can get enough blue points from smelting the furnace. Because I don't think I checked it ever since I woke up. I went to sleep for a little bit to save. Yeah, maybe this will be enough to get to 20. 16, 17, not quite. Hmm. Okay, it's fine. We'll see what we can do. Regardless, we can get ourselves a new furnace. That way we can actually use one of them whenever the other one's busy. Where should I put it, though? There's no real place that's convenient. Put it over here. I can't, actually. Hmm, there's actually very few places it'll fit. I need to chop down this tree just to make room for it for now. If I start building too much things around here, I might need to start removing some stuff. Okay, there we go. At least I get some more wood out of this. Alright, now we should be able to build it. Furnace 3, right over here. Cool. Okay, we'll use this to make ourselves the steel parts we need. Also, we can probably get like two more blue points real quick. Just from crafting some graveyard pieces. Maybe like a stone wall or something. Stonewall Jackson. There we go. Stone gray fence. And this should work out fine. This should give us, I think, at least two. Yeah. Cool, cool. Also, I read online a good way to get blue points is just to craft these things and then dismantle them repeatedly. And I can do that in here. Like, I can break them back down. Of course, I only get one piece of stone or one polished piece of stone back from each one. So I'll lose each time. But it's not too much of a loss. Like, stone gray fence 2. If I break down the gray fence 2, I'll get a polished brick of stone back. So all I'll lose is one bit of stone. Like, regular stone. So if I just keep doing that, then that that's like a way to farm blue points. In fact, I might do that in a little bit. For now, though, let's make ourselves... We need steel, of course. Actually, have we even unlocked steel parts? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right down there. So we need some steel ingots first. I'll make two... Mm, I'll make one set for now, because we only need one set. Oh. Oh, we need, we need some fuel. Is this going to be enough? It's not quite enough. We need 25. Okay, a little bit more. There we go. And a set of steel. We'll leave that going for now. Alright, let's see what we can do with the church workbench. So let's unlock that. Or not church workbench, soft church bench. And let's see how much that costs to make. Actually, we're going to need to do our prayer pretty quick, so I'll look it up online if it's faster. Okay, it looks like I will not be able to worry about that right now, because it costs cloth to do it, and that is required to be purchased from the merchant, and he is not around right now, which is a darn shame. I don't think I have any more candles, so I'm going to have to do this if I want to get the most efficient possible prayer. It's not too big a deal, though. I'll start making more money fairly soon. There we go. 40 quality. 
higher tier, and let's go ahead and do it. Yep. Yep, yep. On the bright side, this should give us enough faith so that we can craft the combo prayer whenever we need to. Dang, I was really hoping I'd have a more advanced prayer by this day, but it's fine. We have plenty of time. We're in no rush. Especially during the pandemic. And not just the real-life pandemic. I'm sure that the world that the Graveyard Keeper's in is always undergoing pandemics. Being sort of medieval and all. In fact, it probably devastates them whenever that happens. It's a work of God! He's smiting us down with his germs! There we go. I made more money back than I spent anyway. It's fine. I like this thing. It's pretty cool. Alright, it looks like our steel is done. We can use that to make ourselves the steel parts that we need. Four of them, in fact. We do need more fuel. And we're running low on coal, which is a shame. I might need to go start manually mining some coal, because we don't seem to be getting much from our miners. I don't know why. Is there, like, a place where we can build to store coal? I don't think there is. Actually, I think I needed this. Let me see. There's no, like, coal stockpile or anything in here. Timber... We already have a timber stockpile. Circle saw, vine press. Oh, we can build the vine press in here, but it's better. It's better underground. No, there's no place for it. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how best to do this. How long does this take again? I didn't really check the time. Not too long. I guess I'll go sleep and save the game. Mm, what a wonderful morning, even though it is still technically nighttime and it's not even completely done in here yet. But I can watch the bar progress until it's there. Come on, come on, almost there. Oh yeah. Oh wait. Oh yeah, we had a second one. Well, I guess it's time to meditate. Hooray! Ah, I feel so much more enlightened after that meditation session. There we go. And now we should be able to make our jewelry stand, which... I don't know if I'm skipping ahead to jewelry too quickly. If I'm even, like, ready for the stuff that I can make out of this thing, but... You know what? I can do it, so why not? Okay, I think like this is best. There we go. Okay, it fits in perfectly right here, and it works well, and I like it. Boop, boop, boop. Gold jewelry details. Okay, it's actually not that bad to make. I do need gold ingot though, which I'm not quite sure where I get it. Okay, so apparently the probably the easiest way for me to get gold right now if I just want it quickly is to go underground to that dungeon that we were exploring before. Because on certain floors, there are just veins that are in the walls that you can harvest. And I believe I found a vein like that before, though it was just for iron. Of course, and you might you might be able to call it cheating to be able to look up exactly what floors that these are on, but I really don't care. I just want to progress and see the new things. This place is looking nice. Yeah, we're, get, we're getting there in this place also. We just need some more, some more skulls and things like that. Like, we already have... One crucified skeleton, one wall skeleton. If we get a couple more pumpkins, we should probably we could probably make another one of these, another one of these, another, and then all we'll have left to make are these things that cost a ton. Probably need four of them. Okay, I believe floor six they said has some more stuff. I should have stored more of my inventory because I didn't realize floor six is actually one I haven't explored fully yet. But there's the gold. Take this. It's fine. My weapons are pretty great, though. Not gonna lie. There we go. Easy, easy. And let's harvest. I do know that if I have the jeweler perk or the jeweler skill in the future, I could get one more ore from this, or like nine total. I'm not gonna worry about that right now because that is a super expensive skill to get. Like, I need to get the one before it, which costs like 100 blue points, and then jeweler is like 150, and that's a ton of blue points. Way more than I'm willing to put in right now. I should probably get some more bread for energy, too. Alright, let's get a little bit of gold smelting. I only need one ingot, I think. And we have enough fire right now to just smelt it, so let's just do it. And meditate some more. Okay, it's about done. And we're good. Okay, we do need some more steel, though. Because we need some more steel parts, so we'll just get that going. A lot of smelting going on here. Too bad one furnace is completely unusable! All right, we have the steel parts. Now we should be able to make the jewelry, right? Yeah, we can. Okay, gold jewelry details. Oh yeah, our first piece of master craftsmanship. Our first pieces of jewelry, which I'm sure could sell for a lot as well. But I'm not too worried about that right now. We need to make ourselves the combo prayer. 
That is the end goal of this episode. That's what we're going to do. All right. There we have it. That is the hardest piece of the combo prayer to get. What are the other pieces we needed for the lower tier hardcovers? Because I remember this was for the tier three, like the top tier gold star hardcover. But we needed the two previous ones as well. So for the other ones... Oh, was it in here? Uh, oh no, was that the church workbench? Or maybe I'm just blind. Okay, here it is. We need tanning agent and we need some more steel parts. Okay, this one is not going to be too bad. Wait, we needed two gold jewelry details. I can do that. Yeah, I can make a second one. So two of those, another steel part and tanning agent. Okay, is it two tanning agent? One tanning agent. And a soft cover, which we're going to go ahead and make. <laughs> Boop, boop. Hey, how's it going, Snake? I'm busy making jewelry here. Um, you enjoy your blood fountains, okay? All right, we've got all the parts we need. I made another set of jewelry, so we have two sets of gold jewelry details. Now I just need to figure out how to make tanning agent, and I have a feeling it's used from something in the church area, the church basement. Okay, it does require a mix of different ingredients from down here. I think we have two of them. Let's see. So we have slowing powder. I believe that was one of them. Let me double check. Actually, we have tanning solution. Oh, no, it's growth enhancer. It just looks the same. Dang it. <laughs> okay, beyond just the slowing powder, we also need depth solution and order extract. Both of those are pretty hard for us to get right now. However, depth solution is not that bad because rather than getting it the normal way, I can just buy it from Clotho, I believe. I don't think I have any other solutions in here. Oh, we got chaos solution, but that's not what we need. Okay, order extract is a bit of an issue because we have to make it. And we don't have the thing we need to make it yet. I don't think we do. It's in anatomy here. It's the distillation cube. It's not that expensive to unlock, so I might as well go ahead and do it. Alchemy workbench 2 distillation cube. Let's see how much it takes to make that cube. Yeesh, we need 20 stone. Hopefully we have enough stone around to do that. And eight complex iron parts. Okay, 20 stone, eight complex iron parts. We can also upgrade our alchemy station. Is it this one? Oh, that's a hand mixer. Is this the alchemy station? I just want to see what it takes to upgrade. Eh, maybe it just doesn't say on here. Maybe it's a different size, just like normal. Okay, that's fine. If it's a different size, it won't let me upgrade it from the menu. I actually don't have quite enough stone. That kind of sucks. That means I need to go and dig up some stone on my own then, I guess. Actually, no, I can get some more stone because I can just break down. Break down, break down. Yes, that is Jojo's reference. I can break down some of the graveyard parts I already have. And that should account for it. We don't have any stored, unfortunately. So we need eight more stone. Okay. I might just break down all eight of these stone gravestones because we're going to use higher tier ones whenever we upgrade our graveyard anyway so this is just cutting down on them a little bit hey clotho there's something i need from you called death solution oh boy i take your entire stock and by that i mean one because i'm not that rich <laughs> even though your entire stock is only two i only need one okay so that leaves only one more ingredient we have yet to need, or that we have yet to get that we need. And we have the resources we need to get that ingredient already. So once we go home, we'll make ourselves a distillation cube, we'll make ourselves the order extract or whatever it was called. I think the distillation cube is what makes all the extracts. And then we can use that to make the tanning solution. And then we can use that to make all the covers. And then we'll use that to make the combo prayer. I am excited. Because this is a long-term thing that will that it will help us a lot in the long term. That's what this prayer is going to do. It's going to be great. Okay, so I believe I need some white flowers. And that's what I can use in the distillation cube. Okay. It's a bit weird that it's called a distillation cube. Or maybe it's just something I don't know about in real life. I've never seen something like this. I don't know much about this whole process IRL. Let's put it over here. Why not? It's not too big a deal. Where would where, where we put it? Ba -ba -ba Boom, craft, craft, craft. All right. And now, at least I thought it was a white flower. What is it? It says that white flower should work. 
white flour or green jelly is what should go in the distillate. Oh, I need to research it, don't I? Hmm. Okay, I guess I will. Fine. Fine is fine. It's a little extra step that I wish I didn't need to do. Get some green points out of it. All right. Oh. Oh, I just have to wait. Dang. Well, it'll take a moment, but that's fine. Just sit here. Or maybe I'll just go sleep. Actually, this might be a good time to just go to bed. And then I'm going to try and make it. And there's a 90% chance that we'll get a gold star combo prayer with our current materials. But that means there's a 10% chance it'll fail. So if it fails, I'm just going to restart the day and try again. Might sound like save scumming. But I'm not wasting all these resources to get a 10% fail rate and get a crappy prayer compared to what I could have got, okay? I just want to be able to progress. That's the goal. And I'll do whatever needs to be done to make that happen. Ooh, it looks like Zombie Boy has a book done, doesn't he? Or do you? Do you have a book? I don't want to take you off of this. Um, He's set to make infinite books. Do you need paper? I think he's out of paper. Maybe I need to leave paper in here. here let me Let me do that real quick. Here you go, zombie boy. Hopefully this helps you out. Oh yeah, there he goes. Did I get a book off of him? Did I, pi Did I pick up a book? Oh, he put it in the trunk. And it's a blue, and it's blue, blue points as well. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let me use my first book. And that gave us 25 blue points? Yeah, it did. All right, that works out well. Okay, now we should have what we need to craft something in here. Actually, does it have to be an alchemy bench too? It certainly does have to be an alchemy bench tier two. Okay, let's see. This is gonna take a bit more effort. And we need advanced conical flask. Three advanced, six joints, two more steel parts. All right, let's get on it. You know, I'm starting to get the feeling that the zombies aren't coming in to deliver the stone because the iron is full and that's what they have in their bag currently which is a little bit annoying if that's the case. That means I should probably work on smelting that iron, which I'll worry about in a little bit because now we should have the resources we need to make ourselves the combo prayer, finally. Finally, we should have what we need. So first of all, we have to make the second tier of, what's it called, the alchemy workbench. Okay, it's actually the same size. Why wouldn't it let me upgrade the previous one? And yeah, whatever, it fits perfectly over here, so I'll just build it there. I can probably tear down the old one later and get some resources back for it. Alright. Crap, crap, crap. Build, build, build. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Now, it should have three slots. Yeah. Okay. So in here, we'll put stone powder. And in here, we'll put in nothing... Or death solution. And here, we'll put in order extract. Okay. This should give us what we need. Yes, tanning agent. Okay. We'll go ahead and make the covers for now. So in here, we'll spend our stuff to make first here. The bronze, the bronze James. And it'll give us some blue points as a little bonus. And there's the silver. How much would this give? We have 66. And now we have 71, so only five still. And top tier hard cover. This took so much effort. Whew. And another five and along with a red point. Now before, I go and turn this into the prayer. Let's do one last save, just to be sure. And it's church day, so we can probably get one test of the prayer in before the day's over, before the episode's over, I should say. There we go, quick save. I'm so refreshed, let's do this. It is time, let us make the prayer. Okay, in here, combo prayer. We have just enough faith for it. Oh, we need to make the book first. Okay. Uh, book. Gold star. Oh, I need to get my story out of my... It's a 50% chance, so if this fails, I'm restarting. Alright, let's hope this works. Please give us the gold quality book. Please give us the gold quality book. Because we don't have the jeweler perk to help improve this. Please, 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 please. Gold quality book. Okay, okay. I kind of want to save, but at the same time... We'll just go ahead and attempt making the prayer. It's a 90% chance of success to make the gold star combo prayer. We don't have too much time, or 80% chance. Yeah, we got the gold star. Let's go and test this out. Oh, this is going to help us so much. But we don't have the candle. 
Do we have enough time to buy the candle? I want to do that. Okay, hey, 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 trade. I want to buy one. Okay, there we go. Boop, boop. Please let it not be too late for prayers. Craft, craft. Boop, boop. Okay, let's see how much money and faith we get out of this. I'm not sure how much the increase will be, but I think it's a lot. Oh, wait, it only had a 67% chance of success. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to need to improve the church quality, I think. Please work. Odds are in my favor. <gasps> it worked. Oh my gosh, I picked it up before it was even done. 23 faith. 23. And how much money are we going to get? 65 bronze per person. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's check this out. 6. 6, 6. That's the devil's number. <laughs> okay, so we had success here. Fortunately. So we got almost 10. Or about 9, I should say. About 9. A little over 9 silver. Out of that one prayer day. That is way more than before. This one's plus 150 to both. Whereas this, the old one was only 50% to faith. This one's 150. Old one was 20% money. 150. That is huge. But I need 60 to guarantee a successful ceremony. Which means that I'm going to need to start working on getting better benches and other things in the church. That'll be something for next time. This was a bit of a longer episode. But we had a goal. We had a purpose. And we achieved that purpose by the end of this episode. Rousing success. Congrats, claps to everyone involved, honestly. Next time we're going to be working on improving the church. That'll be the main goal, I think. Anyway, hopefully you all enjoyed this episode of Graveyard Keeper. I'm going to end it all here. If you did, I have, I'd appreciate a like, comment, or a subscription. They really do help me out. I'm actually going to save this time. That's all for now, and I hope to see you all on the next adventure. <laughs>